Hi, my name is Joseph Baird. Oh, Hi, my name is Joseph Baird. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ace Marrero, and I play Gavin in Aces. Oh, hello! My, oh, hi! Yeah. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Natasha Anderson, and I play L, the character of L. So, I'm Trisha Bahari, and I play Glory in Aces. Hi! Hi! My name's Joseph, Joseph Baird. Hi there, I'm Elisa Juvan, and I play Rosemary in Aces. <laughs> I've got, I've, I play, I play the character named Tom. Today, we are on location in southern LA uh, to film Aces, episodes two and three. Today, we are filming episode number two. That's four. This is two. And it's a misunderstanding. Um, and it's about exactly that. It's a comedy of errors. It's a misunderstanding. And in episode two, my character and character Val, I discovered... Uh, uh, after a long night. And Elle goes on a date, and her date tries to bust a move on her, and she busts a bigger move on him. <laughs> and so she ends up with Gavin in the same place at the same time, and he comes to her rescue. So, uh, let's just say all hell breaks loose when, when they kind of find us in, in, our, in our situation. The next episode, the third episode, um, I have an arc in it where I'm dating um, Roxanne, who I met in the first episode, the pilot, and Tom doesn't know that, and Tom says that he's dating me, and I'm not aware that we're dating because we're just, we're going out on lunches, which I don't consider dates, so that's like, um, that's going to be a fun episode because there's a lot of uh, miscommunication there. Is that the same tie they used yesterday? That Tom wore? Yes. yes. I, we decided that Elle borrowed it from Tom. In the group, Elle is kind of like the glue that kind of holds the group together, even though she's a mess. Um, like, she meets Glory, and she introduces Glory to Rosemary, and to Tom, and Gavin, and um, even though there's conflict, I think that she's important to Gavin and Rosemary's relationship, and them getting to know each other better, eventually. And she's fun. Tom is unsure about his asexuality and so he is experimenting with being a heterosexual <laughs> and seeing how that goes and seeing where that leads him but like he's torn about being an asexual because uh, when he's maneuvering through the sexual world it's all he has to wear out in his mind there's no instincts there so my character in, in the show, uh, I, I play the best friend of Tom who's played by Joseph Baird and uh, I'm kind of a, uh, a rebel w within the, the community of our friends, in, in a way. And, and, I, and I sort of antagonize Tom, and I'm trying to get him to, to you know, loosen up and, and, and get in his ways with women. But I also am in the middle of learning what, what you know, it means to be asexual, you know, with all the other characters that I'm surrounded by, uh, and, and how that affects me and, and my understanding of, of what that means. My character, Rosemary, I feel like I'm, I'm the kind of protective mothering type, and not like, not the smother mother, because I'm comfortable with who I am, and I've gone through all of, you know, kind of the coming out process and, and all that. Um, I'm really just trying to be there for my friends and to support them so that they're comfortable with who they are. Valerie, the writer and producer, she is my really good friend, and she's asexual, and so... Prior to the show ever, you know, being even talked about being produced, like she showed me her writing, and I was like, "Wow, you're asexual. What's that all about?" And she started describing asexuality to me, and so yeah, this show was really kind of my springboard into being introduced to the asexual community. I knew a little bit about asexuality, but um, what I've learned the most is that within asexuality, there are different, I would say, like areas of that you could be an asexual so and like I've been talking with Valerie about it um, a romantic demi gray area and there's just so many different facets to being asexual from working on aces I've learned a lot about asexuality I actually had seen a documentary about it before but I knew very little about it so it's been incredible um, just learning more and um, I think it's, it's it's neat and I feel like it's cool aces gives uh, an opportunity for the community to have a voice. 
being a part of this has really taught me, you know, a good amount about the, the asexual community. And I just learned a lot through reading these scripts, you know, and in hearing the stories and, and hearing about, uh, you know, I guess this group who, who are, were sort of forced to be, you know, thrown into the, the constraints of, of some sort of sexual, a uh, sexuality group, you know, and, and when there's really, it's, when it's really its own thing. I've always understood sort of the, the spectrum of sexuality, and so it makes sense that there's, you know, there's extremes, and, or not extremes, but, you know, there are ends of the spectrum on, on either side, and, um, or sort of in the middle, which I suppose could be gray or neutral. Until I read about the, the pilot episode, I really didn't know anything about it, and that was just, I think, probably the general public don't really understand it, which I think is great that Valerie's written this project to give a voice to the asexual community and to, to educate, but in a fun and entertaining way. So I've learned so much about it. So before I did the audition, I wanted to do a bit of research. And I think, you know, having had gay friends growing up, you know, I can, I can associate and, and understand um, the sort of minority, if you will. I think that, you know, you can draw upon that experience and that understanding um, to relate to the characters. And again, it's not all about sexuality either. It's about people at the end of the day who just happen to not be interested in sex. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like us or subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and everywhere else on the web. So just look for Aces Sitcom. And thanks for watching. Yay!